guys. Today we are learning about color. And we're going to be doing an art project based on the primary colors, the secondary colors, and the intermediate colors. Let's go ahead and get started. As most of you know, these are the three primary colors. We have yellow, red, and blue. Yellow and blue make green. Blue and purple make, or excuse me, blue and red make, you got it, purple or violet. And red and yellow make orange. Then we have the intermediates. And this is where some of you, this will be a little bit new to some of you, okay? Intermediates go in between a primary and secondary. So between yellow and green, we have yellow green. Between these two, we have blue green. Between these two, we have blue purple. Between these two, we have red, reddish purple. Between these two, red orange. And between these two, yellow orange and those make up the intermediates and then we have the, the full color wheel so we're going to do an art project based on that so we're going to do a project that uses the entire color wheel which is 12 colors and we are going to make like rainbow art and here is another one. And you're gonna get to do this in any way that you would like. The key to doing this though, is if you start on a certain point on the color wheel, you have to follow each color all the way around. Now it doesn't matter if you go counterclockwise or if you go clockwise, but you need to go all the way around and make sure you hit each color. We're gonna be using marker, and then at the end, we're gonna spray it. And then that'll blend it all together and make it into um, watercolor. Uh, this one, a little bit easier than this one. Um, and you are going to get to do a little experimenting. Okay, everybody's gonna get a piece of paper. You can choose whether you want square or a rectangle. And then you're also going to get a piece of paper so that you can test your markers. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do some examples. I'm gonna start with the color wheel at yellow. So I'm gonna start with yellow and I'm gonna take my yellow marker and these have to be our water-based markers, not our Sharpies. Sharpies won't blend. And I'm just going to make a kind of a rectangle shape of yellow. Now I need to decide, do I want to go to the left or do I want to go to the right? It does not matter. So after yellow, I need to go yellow-orange. Now just to make sure it's yellow-orange, test it. Yep, that's yellow-orange. And then go ahead and color in another splotch. Now guys, if your marker's a little dry, that's okay, because when we wet it, it's gonna blend it together. Just make sure to overlap your colors a little bit so they blend nicely. After yellow-orange, we have orange. So I'm gonna first go over here to the right, and then after orange, we have red-orange, and I'm following Now that one's running out of, of um, ink, but that's okay. Do as much as you can. And sometimes when we add a little bit of water to it, it'll perk it right up. Okay, and then red. So I'm going right around the color wheel. And after red is red violet. Now I'm going to start swinging back the other way. And after red violet is violet and have that color wheel in front of you so you can just follow it around along. And then after um, violet is blue violet. And after blue violet, blue. Oh, I'm going to start running out of 
space here, but I think I might be able to make it. If you run out of space, that's okay. After blue, blue, green, Mm, and this one's running out a little bit too. No big deal. And after blue green, we have green. And if we had room, we'd put a little yellow green. And you know what? I'm going to put a little yellow green at the top here and at the bottom, just a little bit. Oop, there we go. Okay. Then we're going to spray that. We'll do that in a little bit. You can do other things too. You can do the swirl like I did here. You start in the middle and then you you color. I started with yellow, then I did lime green, green, and then keep going out from there. You can also do it in a half circle. Let me show you what that would look like. Let me start with lime green over here. So if this is the center, I'm going to go lime green, then green. So I'm following and double check with your color wheel, guys, because sometimes you miss one if you're not looking at that color wheel, especially since all these colors are brand or um, kind of new to you. And then blue. So I'm going around the color wheel. Um, blue, blue, purple. And then purple. And then red, purple. And red. And red, orange. Oops. And orange. And yellow, orange. And I'm going kind of fast, guys. And then yellow. So that's another way you can do it. Okay, kind of make a hump. You can actually do a circle. You can do a flower. You can do um, squares like this. Whatever you do, make sure it's either in a row or they're next to each other so that they blend together. Okay, this is where you're going to be creative. Now I could keep going with all my squares and um, then we're going to add water. So let's add water next. So the next part is to take a spray bottle, get your pieces in front of you. Okay, make sure you got a nice mist going and we're going to spray it and then let it sit. And all those beautiful colors are going to mix together and create this beautiful color wheel art. And one last thing, if we have time, if you have time, after they're dry, we are going to add black marker and white paint on top using patterns to make it even more interesting like this. So cool. I hope you had fun. Bye.